Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving system of linear equations using equal values method. Let's take this first example right here. Determine the point of intersection of the graph of the two linear equations below. So the equations are y equals 3x minus 2 and the other one is y equals 5x plus 4. There are steps that we need to follow in order that we can determine the points of intersection between the graph of these two equations right here. The first step is if the two given equations are equal to the same variable which is usually y set the two equations equal to each other and solve for x so in this problem right here both of them are equal to y which means that this two um expressions that we have on the uh, right side of the equation would be equal each other so what i would do is i will set up the equation and equal them to each other. So I will put that um, down here. So again, we are doing the first step right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and label this as the first step, step one. So I'm just gonna write this um, equation um, up here. So this would be three X minus um, two, and that is equal to the other one, which is five X plus four. Four. So what I did was I just equal these uh, two equations to each other. So that's how I um, got this equation right here. So part of this step is to solve for x. So we are going to go over this. Um, in order that we can solve for x on this, we're supposed to make sure that the x is isolated on one side of the equation. So we have here a plus 5x. So we remember that the opposite for addition is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides and then minus 5x here so that we are left with... So by the way, we can cross the 5x and the 5x here. And so we are left with uh, 3x minus 5x is negative 2x. And then we bring down the negative 2 right here. And that is equal to 4. Now, again, our target is to isolate x by itself here since we still have other um, numbers around the x, the negative 2, the minus 2 here. So we need to get rid of them. Since this is a um, subtraction, so that's a, a minus 2, we remember that the opposite of subtraction is addition. So I'm, I'm just going to add 2 and then I'm just going to add 2 right here so that we can cross the 2 out. So we are left with negative 2x here because we already crossed out the uh, negative 2 and the positive 2 and that is equal to 4 plus 2 is 6. So this is the equation that we got here. So I will um, show the rest of the work um, up here. So again, this is, I'll just copy this down. Negative 2x is equal to 6. So negative 2x means that negative 2 multiplied by x is equal to 6. We remember that we want to get rid of this negative 2. We remember that the opposite for multiplication is division. So then I will divide negative 2 to both sides. Divide this by negative 2. When we divide negative 2 on that, this becomes a 1. So we are left with x is equal to 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. So this is the value of x. So I will put that inside the box. Now we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to plug in the value of x from the first step to any of the original equations that we have here and solve for y. So we can pick any of these um, two equations from here so that we can solve for y. So I'm just going to go ahead and label this one as step two right here. So let's pick this first equation. So let's, um, I'm just going to use the first equation right here. Then I'll put the arrow um, on this side. So the first equation is y equals... Um, that's going to be 3x minus 2. Again, we are supposed to solve for y on the second step so that we can go ahead and say that y is equal to 3 parentheses minus 2. So again, we plug in the x that we solve from the first step, which is negative 3. And then we do the math. So this would be y is equal to 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And then we have a minus 2. So negative 9 minus 2 is negative 11. So this is the value of y that will make this two um, equations correct. 
so that we can go ahead and write this um, solution that we have here in coordinate form that would be negative 3 and negative 11. So this is the solution in coordinate form. I got the x from the first step and then the y from the second step. Now let's move on to the next example right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is if the two given equations are equal to the same variable, which is usually y, set the two equations up equal to each other and solve for x. So as you can see here, both of them are equal to y so that we can go ahead and move on to the first step. So what we do here is that we take the um, right side of the first equation and equal it to the um, right side of the second equation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, write the uh, equation right here equal to each other. So that would be negative three X plus six. I got that from there. And that is equal to the second one right here, which is X minus 10. So part of this step is to solve for X. So as you can see here, we have X on both sides. So we need to have x on one side only. So what are we going to do here is that since this is a positive x, remember that the opposite of addition is subtraction. So I will subtract x from both sides minus x so that we can go ahead and cross this um, x minus x gets crossed out. So we are left with negative 3x minus x is negative 4x. And then we still have the plus 6 and that is equal to negative 10. So we want to solve for x in this step, but we still have a negative 4 and 6, so we need to get rid of them. And so in, in order that we can do that, since we say that this is addition, we remember that the opposite of addition is subtraction. So I will subtract 6 from both sides, minus 6, so that we can cross the 6 out. We are left with negative 4x is equal to negative 10 minus 6 is negative 16. Now we say that this is um, negative 4 multiplied by x so that we go ahead and I'm um, just going to go ahead and write that up here so we can see what's going on here. So that's negative 4x equals negative 16. So we remember that the opposite for multiplication is division. So then I will divide both sides by negative 4. Divide this by negative 4 so we can cross this out. We are left with just x and that is equal to negative 16 divided by negative 4 will come out a positive because two negatives um, divided um, to each other would come up positive. So this would be a positive 4. So this is the value of x for this two equations that we have right there. And so we are now ready to move on to the second step. So I'm just going to show the um, second step right here. I will label this as S2. So the second step tells us that we plug in the values of x that we solve from the first step to any of the original equations to solve for y. So we can pick any of these equations. So let's just pick the first one here. So I'll show the work on the um, side right here. So I copy the original equation that is y equals negative 3x plus 6. So we're going to plug in the value of x that we solved here so that we can solve for y. So that is y equals negative 3 parentheses plus 6. The one that we put into the parentheses is the x that we solved from the first step, which is 4. So I put that in there. So this would come out y is equal to negative 3 times 4 is negative 12 plus 6. And so negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6. So this is the value of y that will make this um, two equations equal to each other. And so we can actually write this um, solution that we have here uh, uh, as a coordinate form. So that would be 4 and then negative 6. So this is the point where the graph of... The, uh, the graph of these two equations that we have here will intersect or will touch each other. Did you get the same answer as this?
Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.